What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, this time, honey, I am back with a love and marriage Huntsville extra, honey. Say it ain't so, say it ain't so. We got Mr. Marceau Scott and Miss Latifa Scott, I mean, Leticia. <laughs> You got a black soul brand new, like, you you think you so hard, like, you got a dark soul just like Mel, you know, y'all think y'all so much better than everybody. Child, these two fools, Marceau and Latifa, are back again with a another black business expo. They need to put Espo, okay? Because that ain't how Tisha say it. Okay, they are back. They don't have no speakers. They don't have no location. And once again, once again, only on the first floor, they have been stealing again, okay? Marceau got caught going back and forth with the man that they stole from. They stole from this man and this woman that had the idea of, you know, doing a black business expo in Atlanta. But they, you know how them Scots is, honey. They always shucking and jiving, always, you know, on on a, a mission to steal, okay? The date of the Espo will be February 23rd through 24th, 2024. So the guy, Christopher Yancey, okay, this is the man that Marceau stole the Black Business Expo idea from. Because remember, him and the girl Jasmine wanted to do it in Atlanta, okay, but no, Latifa and Marceau was talking with them, pretending to be all nice and friendly, and they, you know, they got to it first, okay? So, the Christopher guy, he took to his social media and said, I anticipated a comment delete, so we keep receipts because I understand that the truth is so important, and I told y'all, the truth needs and no proof. How you doing? It's all I know. I won't let this go unseen or unknown. Facts are facts. I'm usually peaceful, but I can't be on this. No, you can't. Okay, not not when you you dealing with these thieves and these liars, these Scots. I mean, these knots, because they are not who they say they are, honey. Oh, child. So the guy, Christopher, tagged Marcel and Letitia Scott. And he says, didn't Jasmine S. Young and I sit with you over dinner and discuss us all doing this event together since we, the Financial Literacy Institute, had already did it two years successfully. Y'all hear that, Scott? Successfully prior in Atlanta. We literally had you and Melody S. Holt. Not Melody Absolutely. <laughs> God telling you, you need to leave us alone, Christopher. They they scam artists. They just like Martel. Martel hook headed ass hope. I'm so glad I got rid of that dusty ass nigga. Okay, so Let's get back to it, honey. We literally had you and Melody S. Holt as speakers. Ooh, get rid of the Holt, honey. You trying to put her back in that burning house, honey. Look, Miss Robinson got some PTSD too, shit. I don't want to see that Holt, honey, attached to Melody. As speakers at our first year's event, which I asked you both personally to attend. So they asked y'all ass to attend since we are college alumni. What college was that? Because we know they, they he was just over there giving Tisha, honey, all types of stickers for nothing. The broad can't talk, can't speak, can't write, can't do shit. I mean, I'm just saying shit. What is she good for? Laying on her back? I mean, I'm just saying. Um, What happened? Oh, child. I don't recall being contacted. Yeah, just like they, they didn't contact Chris and Nell so that they ass could get on over to the expo, honey. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying. 
since that sit down, I'm confused. And I told y'all, God is not the author of confusion. Okay, let me calm down, honey. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Okay, I told y'all, they some scammers. Okay, I'm confused and otherwise offended by this. How y'all think Melody feel? Okay. I saw the one in Huntsville and thought they'll contact us about collaboration and now this. No, of course not. They want they want to take credit for everything. Okay? Brother and sister, please explain. <laughs> and I'm only addressing this publicly because this this post has been made public, so it's necessary. Ooh, child, I like your energy, honey. Okay, Jasmine is outdone and infuriated, and she ready to have uh, Tisha square up. <laughs> Put your dukes up, Tisha, okay? <laughs> damn, y'all just keep pissing everybody off. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> These people really have... And it's sad, but they really have like a scam artist mentality. They just steal everything. And I told y'all, ain't no shame in their game. They don't apologize. They don't feel bad. They got that Jezebel spirit, honey. Yes, honey. Okay, my damn eye twitching. I know they got the damn spirit. Okay, it's been a lot going on, honey, in Huntsville. Okay, with these crooks. And did y'all hear about Chris Fletcher? They talking about he was messing with a minor. And then I'm like, well, minor ain't 19, is it? Still kind of young to be cheating on your wife with somebody like that. But, honey, I'm not going to get off into that conversation, honey, with him and his daughter. Okay, Lexi, I'm not going to get off into that, you guys. Because it's something about Lexi I don't like and I don't trust. And I feel like she plays the victim and I ain't got time. Okay, so. But what do y'all think about the Chris Fletcher situation? Why are we talking about it? Do you think he really did all that? Okay, we're going to talk about it in another video. We'll talk about it in another video. But I still can't believe that. I was like, damn. Okay, so Marceau replies to the guy and says, Christopher Yancey, I just typed a whole book. Short answer is this. No, we didn't plan to do this together because if we did plan it, we would have done it. Huh? <laughs> Say what now? Honey, I know Kiki somewhere. Like I told y'all about them niggas. I didn't told y'all. Marceau goes on to say, I don't even want to address this because it's absolutely ridiculous to think that Marceau and Chris Yancey sat at a table and invented the concept of a black expo. Like, really? People do this all the time because our community needs it. For you to be so passionate about doing this event, I would think you would have reached out to me about it in the three plus years since that lunch or perhaps said that you felt a way about the last one or got my phone number and called me. Now, what's funny about this is I couldn't see the rest of what Marceau said because he just screenshotted it. It says see more and we didn't get to see like the rest of it with a scamming ass. They always trying to hide stuff. Okay. But he tags the guy again, Christopher Yancey. I'm so confused. You and Jasmine talked about doing a financial literacy event because she is a CPA. Help me, please. I'm much more confused and upset I'm actually very sorry that I hurt you and Jasmine y'all are friends and I would never intentionally do that yes y'all will like you you on love and marriage Huntsville talking shiggity to Melody about her business and she the one to help give your ass a job she help everybody on the show everybody I like they don't know her they ain't grateful I mean make it make sense listen so if you would do what you did to the hoax, um, hell yeah, because they took you from, you was working at a damn movie theater and they helped you get into property preservation. So it's like, Marceau, you would do that. Okay, this is, this is par for the course. Okay, this is, this is your character because you keep doing this type of shiggity to people. Okay. 
Just like you asked Stormy for that money at the last minute, okay, at the last expo. Child, I hope Stormy or whoever, honey, come at they ass at that next reunion. I'm still mad, you guys. I feel like they got off way too easy. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading this. If I felt for one second that this was supposed to be anything more, I would have reached out. We really don't want or care about the credit. There's no way I would have thought in a million years that y'all felt some type of way about us hosting the Black Business Expo, especially since Tisha speaks to Jasmine periodically and definitely since the expo in 2023. So the guy, Chris, he showed like the screenshot of the Black Wall Street and we see panel speaker, Marcel Scott. I'm like, ooh, child, got your ass, Mr. Postman. Chris says, honey, he got receipts. I think Marcel has something against doing business with men named Chris. Because remember, he didn't want Chris Fletcher's ass down to that expo. Okay, but you invited Martel, hook-headed ass Hope, Because you, you know he can't even pass his builder's license. Now, people like him and Tisha, they love being associated with dummies. Okay, and mediocrity. They love being with them people. That way they can feel good about themselves. Okay, make it make sense. So, the guy Christopher Yancey says, Marcel Scott, brother. Is he a Muslim? Because you know they love a brother and sister you to death, honey. Okay, y'all got any bean pies? Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, shit, I love me a good ass bean pie. Okay, and I need one too. Some good ass bean pies. We used to get some at set. Okay, but I'm let me let me get back. Okay, y'all know I got a little ADHD going on over here. Okay, so he said, brother, you know me personally, so I'm not going to do the social media game. I love you and Latifah, <laughs> both, but nah, this is wrong and you know it. Yes, it is. It's it's real wrong, Chris. Okay, a conversation with me and Jasmine S. Young would have been amazing since we presented this blueprint, not per, not gay. I thought they, well, they first blueprint came from uh, Melody Cherie, honey. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> they always stealing from somebody. I just feel like it's a damn shame at this damn point. They too damn old for this. Child, mm, mm, mm. okay, so presented this blueprint and idea to you. You even said, yeah, that sounds good. We could definitely collaborate. And you guys, I'm going to say this. I'm sorry I keep pausing, but it's, it's on my mind. I have to say this. I don't like people like that. I feel like I have talked with people before in my past and I thought, hey, we could come together, collaborate and you know, put ideas together, do this, that, and the third. And they went on without me and did that shiggity. Like, it, it says so much about the Scots character. And I know I make fun of them. But to me, you guys, this really looks bad. Like, y'all are making shiggity worse for y'all selves. People already think this type of stuff about y'all. And y'all keep doing the same damn thing. Okay, history keeps repeating. Okay. Ciao. So let's get back to it. You even said, yeah, that sounds good. And we could definitely collaborate. And Tisha followed with, yeah, and Black can be the sponsor of the event. But I guess I'm just talking. I even kept quiet about the Huntsville Expo in an attempt and I kept it all love at HC. I even manned, manned the door for you at Black Out of Love. I have no reason to fabricate or even speculate because I believe this is the event you meant to post. Again, you know I never address anything unless I'm 100% validated. Ooh, child. So Marceau comes back at Christopher and says, you really said, explained our blueprint. Child, a panel speakers, training vendors is the blueprint. Child, y'all got most of them ideas for Melody. I mean, I'm just saying. 
Black is trademark. If this is anyone's idea, it's the comeback group's idea. I appreciate you revealing yourself, my guy. Marceau also says, Christopher Yancey, here's the lesson. This nigga always trying to teach somebody a lesson. How about you need to learn the damn lesson, nigga? Okay, if you felt the way, you should have cleared it up to my face. What you're saying makes no sense. You are suggesting that because I was a panelist at your event and told you that Black would be a vendor at the next one, that was giving me a blueprint. Chris, do you realize that 99% of all expos have the same exact blueprint? The difference is the relevance of the topic, the, the calibration of the people, and the value of the authentic authentic message. Ain't nothing that you and Tisha do is authentic, honey. Okay, even your um your sister-in-law didn't trust what y'all did with the money that y'all made from the expo. Okay, the expo, I should say. Like, child, shut up, uh, Marceau. Talking about authentic. You are everything but. Okay. Look, the event is going to be good. For this shit we are doing here. Oh, what, what's up with your language, nigga? Okay, shit, you old keyboard gangster. You better leave that man alone. You mess around, have another, another damn lawsuit you can't afford. I mean, I'm just saying. So the Jasmine S. Young girl, she, uh, you know, she replies to Marceau and says, Marceau Scott, I will also add that we discussed Black being the sponsor of the VIP area for our 2023 event after Angela, Black's manager at the time, if I'm not mistaken, submitted an inquiry to my nonprofit, the Financial Literacy Institute. For y'all to be vendors at the 2023 event. Several combos have been had, bro. Don't gaslight us. Now your ass is being accused of what you always do, which is gaslighting. Stormy said it at the reunion. Like, that's what you do. Melody said you do it. Now we got uh, Christopher and Jasmine saying it. Child, I'm going to read this last part and then I'm going to be done with it. Okay, so Christopher says to Marceau, you piss. How about seeing a friend and his wife you sat and broke bread with, shared an idea with to collaborate on, only to see them plaster it on own TV internationally as if the idea was theirs. Then come to your city and you do it again. Not one call, text, email, or anything, bro. You piss. How you think Jasmine S. Young feel? We go way back, bro. He don't care. Shit. This could have been a phone call, but you chose a whole event and didn't hit us back. Not even once. We even talked to Tisha about it over Zoom after the Huntsville Expo and said she would get back with Jazz and never did. Oh, just like she never invited Miss Nail to the expo, but she told her that she was going to try to get her and Chris up in there. Okay, see, these people have a pattern of behavior. Absolutely. Like I said, I have no reason to fabricate. You know my character and integrity, and it don't look like you have any. Well, I kind of added, <laughs> kind of added that last little part, but they don't, got, I told y'all, they don't have no character or integrity. They will screw anybody over. They have no scruples, no morals, no values, no decorum, ethics, none, nada. So let's see what the people think about this. One person says the Scots just love embarrassing themselves. Hell, I got secondhand embarrassment for them. Yeah, I did too. Another person says the Black Expo is a no-go. How does a TV show have so many scammers on it? Exactly. Another person says, aren't they known for hijacking other folks' ideas? Absolutely. Another person says that's their M.O. See, all the people think this, and th this is not good. Remember Latifa using Stormy's website and then blamed it on someone else. They never take accountability. Never. Okay, now the person says Marceau thinks he's smarter than anyone in the room and definitely a gaslighter. With his lies and his big ego. I know that's right, honey. 
All right, you guys, I also have some audio from Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda, honey, Miss Wanda, it looked like she was fired, honey, because we didn't see her. We did not see her at all, honey, on last season. Not at all. What you been doing, Miss Wanda? Okay, Miss Miss Wanda somewhere cooking now, burning shit up, cooking the, the beans, peas, disease. <laughs> But, honey, she has some comments about the reunion. Child, she is obsessed, honey, with Miss Melody Cherie because she gets to talking about her and Miss Betty. Let's take a listen. Listen. The reunion. Let's get on the reunion, y'all. Or should I talk about I think I'm going to talk about that on my, on my YouTube channel because I can just about say what I want to say there about the reunion because there's a lot of stuff that happened on that stage. I just didn't approve of it. I I mean, I just didn't like it. I really didn't. And somebody tell my mama, <laughs> we're gonna get on the blow. Baby, baby. Woo. Take my breath away. Mm-mm. Baby, I'm 10 toes down with my mom. I don't care, right or wrong. Right or wrong. I'm 10 toes down with my mama. Ten toes down with my mama. A friend don't owe me nothing compared to my mama. My mama brought me into this world, and I'm ten toes down with mass. <laughs> I don't care what we did in the past, what we do in the future, but when it comes down to you talking about my mama, my mama, baby, I got to take that to my YouTube channel. I got to take that to my YouTube channel. Um, on my live earlier, somebody asked a question about what I think about Irian. I didn't see all of this, y'all. I was off YouTube. I was I was fasting for, for three weeks. So I was off YouTube for a whole like three weeks. Child, Miss Wanda, you ain't been fasting. You been eating fast food. Girl, stop playing with us. I'm moving off for a whole month. Yeah. You was off of social media that long? That long, Miss Wanda? Look, you better rack in size. And on that note, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Okay, Miss Wanda wasn't talking about too much of nothing, honey. I, I got all the important stuff on out the way. But anyways, you guys, I am back. Y'all know I had to rest up after working 32 hours in two days. Okay, don't no other bitch work as hard as me. Okay, but anyways, don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new. And I will check you guys out in the next video.